Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Wednesday, August 25th, and this local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. The issue of COVID denial is increasingly affecting the ability of Flagler County health officials to deal with a worsening crisis. John Arking reports. It's a global pandemic that has killed tens of thousands of Floridians among hundreds of thousands of Americans, and yet local health officials say they are frustrated when it comes to those who steadfastly refuse to believe that COVID-19 is real. Flagler County Medical Director Dr. Stephen Bickle says in no small part the role that the highly transmissible Delta variant has played is a factor. This is a kind of typical shoot the messenger, bringing bad news, the thing is not over, could last longer, could be worse than we thought, and people hate that message. But I think we're also losing the sense that the vast majority of people in Flagler County are reasonable, have some understanding of what's going on, are sort of the silent majority. We have a vocal group that's really kind of dominating the airways. And I think the big message now is we are in a war. I mean, we're in a plateau setting that we hope it, it's a narrow plateau and not a wide plateau, but it may be wider than we think. Bickle says that true heroism is taking place day in and day out in regards to the medical workers who are continuing to work amid adverse conditions. And when it comes to those who lack a basic capacity to stay in touch with reality, he ignores them and he hopes others will as well. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. Advent Health Palm Coast is one of the partners of Mednext that's coming to town center in Palm Coast. Chief Operating Officer Wally DeKino says they're working on a simulation lab to contribute to the endeavor. Construction on the sim lab located in their medical office building that's attached to the hospital started last week. Hopefully it will be completed by the end of November, beginning of December. And this is a $1 million investment from Advent Health so we can have all of the students uh, floating through our uh, sim lab here to get the proper training. Because when you have the UNF group come in here, the students, not only they can come to our sim lab, but it will be an easy flow access to our hospital when they need to do clinical rotation. He says the partnership will combat a shortage and create a much-needed pipeline of medical workers. Advent Health has six hospitals in our region, and we all need more workers. Not to mention the new hospital, right? This is perfect timing. The new hospital that we're already working on, that's going to create a lot of demand. Mednex is slated to have its first cohort of 50 students begin in coursework this fall. The University of North Florida is challenging Palm Coast area high school students to come up with ideas to solve the state's top health care issues. As we hear from Karen Johnson, it's all connected to Mednex. The University of North Florida, along with the City of Palm Coast and Flagler Schools, is presenting the 2021 Med Nexus Innovation Challenge, open to all Flagler, St. John's, and Volusia High School students. The Med Nexus Innovation Challenge is a team-based entrepreneurship competition that will showcase top regional high school students with the task of presenting their solutions to Florida's evolving health care needs. David Szymanski, soon-to-be CEO and Executive Director of UNF Med Nexus. And so we want to continue to build out that pipeline. We're also working with the high schools here. We're going to have an innovation challenge. Szymanski says the Med Nexus Innovation Challenge is a competition that encourages high school students to participate in designing ideas for the future of health care through purpose-driven education and to apply innovation, science, and technology to solve real state local health care challenges, including advancing telemedicine, improving mental health services for young adults, and enhancing soft skills in health care. Applications are open until September 19th. Decisions will be released by October 1st. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. Palm Coast assigns five people to a redistricting commission. Amy Cherry has more. Jose Papa with the city's community development department tells us what the members will be tasked with doing. The purpose of the districting commission is to basically reapportion our city council voting districts based on the 2020, most recent 2020 decennial census and to provide a report to the city council at the end of their task to provide proposal on how to redraw the voting district lines. Each member of council could nominate up to two people to the commission. Those appointed were Dr. Carlton, Fernando Melendez, who leads a group of Hispanic Republicans, Ms. Pennington, Dr. Davidson, and Mike Martin, who's elected to the East Flagler Mosquito Control District. The commission has a 120-day deadline to report back to Palm Coast City Council. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. What about the animals? 
Flagler County says there is a plan for that. The county's growth management director, Adam Mengel, said the plan was in place a while back. We're strong on requiring developers to put their wetlands in preserved areas, and you're seeing that green space hopefully being kept somewhere around that 30 to 40 percent range. Mengel said that the county would like to see the development happen in a way that preserves those natural areas in between what's developable. You can hear this interview on the Flagler Radio app when you listen to the Free For All Friday podcast. Tomorrow, Working on the railroads from the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.